Imagine a future where you have complete financial freedom and independence because you saved and invested wisely. Hey everyone, before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Your support helps us create more content like this. In this video, we will discuss the importance of saving and investing for financial independence. We will cover the basics of how to save effectively and where to start with investing. You'll also learn about different investment options that can help you grow your wealth over time. By the end of this video, you will have a better idea of how to start your journey towards financial independence. So let's get started and explore how saving and investing can lead to a financially independent future. Saving money is the first step towards financial independence. It is important to set aside a portion of your income regularly. This helps you build a safety net for emergencies and unexpected expenses. To start saving, you need to create a budget. A budget allows you to track your income and expenses. This way, you can identify areas where you can cut back and save more money. Once you have a budget in place, aim to save at least 20 of your income. This may seem like a lot, but small changes in your spending habits can make a big difference. For example, cooking at home instead of eating out can save you a significant amount of money. Another tip for saving is to automate your savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your main account to your savings account. This way, you won't have to think about it and your savings will grow over time. Now that you have started saving, it's time to think about investing. Investing is essential for growing your wealth and achieving financial independence. There are many different types of investments, each with its own risks and rewards. One popular investment option is stocks. Stocks represent ownership in a company and their value can increase over time. Investing in stocks can be risky, but it also offers the potential for high returns. Bonds are another investment option. They're considered safer than stocks, but usually offer lower returns. Bonds are essentially loans that you give to governments or companies and they pay you interest over time. Mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, ETFs, are also popular investment choices. These funds pool money from many investors to buy a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds or other assets. This diversification helps reduce risk and can lead to more stable returns. Real estate is another way to invest your money. Buying property can provide you with rental income and potential appreciation in value. However, real estate requires a significant initial investment and can be more hands-on than other types of investments. It's important to understand the risks associated with each type of investment. Diversifying your investments can help reduce your overall risk. This means spreading your money across different types of investments so you are not too reliant on any one asset. When investing, it's important to have a long-term perspective. The value of your investments may go up and down in the short term, but over the long term, they have the potential to grow significantly. Patience and consistency are key to successful investing. Another key aspect of investing is understanding compound interest. Compound interest is the interest you earn on both your initial investment and the interest that has already been added. This can lead to exponential growth over time. To take advantage of compound interest, start investing as early as possible. The longer your money is invested, the more it can grow. Even small investments can become substantial over time with the power of compound interest. It's also important to keep your investment costs low. Fees and commissions can eat into your returns, so look for low-cost investment options. Many online brokers offer low-cost trading and investment options that can help you keep more of your money. Saving and investing for independence requires discipline and consistency. It may take time to see significant results, but the effort is worth it. 
Building a solid financial foundation can provide you with peace of mind and the freedom to pursue your dreams. Remember, everyone's financial situation is different. What works for one person may not work for another. It's important to do your research and, if necessary, consult with a financial advisor to create a plan that works for you. In the next part of this video, we will discuss more strategies and tips to help you save and invest wisely. Stay tuned for more information on achieving financial independence through smart saving and investing. Let's discuss some steps you can take to save and invest for independence. These steps can help you build a strong financial foundation and work towards your goal of financial freedom. First, set clear financial goals. Having specific goals will give you direction and motivation. Write down your short-term and long-term goals, such as saving for an emergency fund or investing for retirement. Next, create a budget. A budget helps you understand where your money is going. Track your income and expenses to identify areas where you can cut back and save more. Once you have a budget, start building an emergency fund. Aim to save at least three to six months' worth of living expenses. This fund will provide a safety net in case of unexpected events like job loss or medical emergencies. Then pay off high interest debt. High interest debt, like credit card debt, can quickly eat into your savings. Focus on paying off this debt as soon as possible to free up more money for saving and investing. After that, start investing in a retirement account. Retirement accounts, like ISIS or pensions, offer tax advantages that can help your money grow faster. Contribute regularly to these accounts to build a secure retirement fund. Consider diversifying your investments. Spread your money across different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. Diversification can help reduce risk and increase potential returns over time. Keep learning about personal finance and investments. The more you know, the better decisions you can make. Read books watch videos, and consult with financial advisors to stay informed and make smart choices. Finally, review and adjust your financial plan regularly. Life changes and so do your financial needs and goals. Periodically, check your progress and make adjustments to stay on track towards financial independence. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to save and invest for independence. Meet Sarah, a 35-year-old from London who wanted to achieve financial independence. Sarah started by setting clear financial goals, such as paying off her student loans and saving for a house deposit. She created a budget and tracked her expenses, finding areas where she could cut back, like reducing her takeaway meals and cancelling unused subscriptions. Sarah built an emergency fund with three months' worth of living expenses. She then focused on paying off her high-interest credit card debt. Once debt-free, she began investing in a stocks and shares ESA, contributing a portion of her income each month. Sarah diversified her investments across stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. With patience and discipline, she saw her investments grow, bringing her closer to financial independence. To get started on your journey to financial independence, begin by setting clear financial goals. Write down what you want to achieve in the short and long term. Create a budget to track your income and expenses and identify areas where you can save more money. Next, build an emergency fund to cover three to six months' worth of living expenses. Pay off any high-interest debt as quickly as possible to free up more money for saving and investing. Start investing in retirement accounts and diversify your investments to reduce risk. If you found this video useful, Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it and it helps us create more content for you.